What do you do when you find out your ex is dating someone else? My name is Coach Adrian. I am your dating and breakup coach. And I really wanted to do this video for those of you who are facing this challenging reality. No one wants to know that their ex is dating again. In fact, it's one of the biggest fears of people that I work with that they're just moving on and forgetting about you and really connecting emotionally with someone else. But now that it has happened to you, you know that it's not the end of the world. You can indeed and you will bounce back from this. And the reality is that it doesn't necessarily mean that it is the end. It doesn't mean that a potential future relationship between the two of you is impossible. Of course, I don't want you to sit around and to wait. And I don't want you to feel like you're battling with a sense of false hope. You're not waiting and you're not hoping. You're acting. And you are actively seeking to continue to grow and really to transform into the person that you know that you can be. Our process is centered around moving forward, past the negativity of the breakup, past the despair, past the pain, in order to really position you to be in the type of relationship that you know you deserve, in the type of relationship that you know that you can be in. Many times after a breakup, people very quickly jump into another relationship because they don't want to be alone, because they don't want to face themselves, and because they're in denial, and also because perhaps there is a sense of smoke and mirrors where they quickly jump into a relationship that they perceive will be everything that they want, but it isn't. All relationships have their challenges. No relationship is perfect. And one must continue to seek to grow and to evolve in order to be able to be in a healthy relationship. And jump in from one relationship to the next often deprives you of that unique opportunity to really take a leap forward um, in your life. And uh, in terms of character development, in terms of building certain habits and tools that will enable you to be in a healthy relationship. But you're not doing that. I know you're not doing that because you're following this channel, our podcasts. You are actively seeking to better yourself and you're putting in the work. And as a result of that, you are actually going to be able to offer something new. And you will be much more at peace with yourself than your partner will be a few weeks or a few months down the road. So the last thing you want to do is to beg, to plead, to connect with them and to compete with this other person that they are dating. Ultimately, it's about you and your growth, not about what they are doing and who they're with. Having said that, I know that it is not easy and I am here to empathize with you. And if you need some time to process, if you need some time to wallow in the negative emotions, okay. Give yourself the time that you need, but then quickly seek to move forward through action. The more you're able to have a plan, to stretch your comfort zone, to be social, to put yourself out there again, and to do things that you love, the less likely you are to be triggered or to focus on that other dynamic and relationship that isn't going to help you in any way, shape, or form. And if you're able to thrive, Soon you will see that your ex will be focusing more on what they've lost with you and all of the quality traits and attributes that you brought to the table instead of focusing on this new relationship. So whether it's super fresh or whether they've been dating someone else for weeks, if not months, ultimately, I'm imploring you to not focus on that other relationship, but to focus on you because that other relationship won't bring you any sort of happiness. So, if you find yourself in this situation, explain to us what it is that you are struggling with most. And you can do that in the comment section of this video. And you'll see that there's a community here that is there to support you, to advise you, and 
um, also to empathize with what you are going through. I have coached so many people whose exes dated after the breakup only to find out that that other new relationship did not make them happy and we have been able to rebuild a relationship afterwards. This is something that has happened to me, to me. I also broke up with my significant other, dated only to then come back together and now build a life with this person. We're married, we have two kids, perhaps you already know this story. But if it's happened to me, if it's happened to others that I work with, it can also happen to you. As long as you're not obsessing, as long as you're not waiting, as not as as long as you're not putting your life on hold, basically, and continuing to grow and to evolve and to use this as a positive force and a positive catalyst in your life. And if you do so, no one can tell you anything and you won't have any regrets and you'll set yourself up for success in love. This is what fighting the good fight looks like. And I thank you for your trust and wish you only the best on your breakup recovery journey.